What your hair can tell you about your health. A single strand of hair alone can reveal so much about you. Not only can it uncover your age, gender, and weight, it can also tell you a lot about your health and habits, both the good and the bad ones. So when it comes to these eight common hair problems, you might want to listen up. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell to join the bright side of life. Number 1. Dull and lifeless hair Things like dyeing your hair frequently, using hot tools on a regular basis, or a lack of moisture during the cold winter months can cause your hair to look dull and lifeless. However, your hair might lose its natural shine due to a vitamin deficiency. Based on a study conducted by Dr. Ahmad Gorbani, an assistant professor at the Gilan Agricultural and Natural Resources Research and Education Center, lackluster hair may indicate that your body needs selenium, sulfur, and phosphorus. Take a look at your gums and teeth as well to check if this is the cause. If you notice dental issues or other alarming changes, then you should consult a doctor. Number 2. Dandruff Using too many hair products or not cleansing and exfoliating your scalp properly can lead to those annoying white flakes falling all over your shoulders and clothes. It may also have something to do with your current diet, especially if you've recently cut back on fats and carbs. However, stress, gastrointestinal issues, and an immunodeficiency can be serious causes of dandruff. If you notice that the flakes are a bit yellow, you may have seborrheic dermatitis. According to research conducted by the Department of Dermatology and Cutaneous Surgery at the University of Miami, this condition can be really hard to get rid of, so forget about anti-dandruff shampoos. The best thing you can do is to visit a hair and scalp specialist to determine the cause and find a solution. Number 3. Thin and Brittle Hair The condition of your skin, nails, and hair can worsen if you have a protein deficiency. Thin and brittle hair can be a big sign of that. Protein is an important nutrient that helps build and repair your body's tissues. It's recommended to eat more fruits and consume products rich in omega-3 fatty acids. They include shrimp, salmon, catfish, walnuts, and spinach. However, it could also be something way more serious. Researchers at Boston University School of Medicine and the Rogers Williams Medical Center have found that brittle hair is a symptom of Cushing's disease. If you're afraid this might be the case, watch out for other symptoms such as chronic insomnia, high blood pressure, and unexplainable back pain. And of course, check with your doctor for a proper diagnosis. Number 4. Hair Loss Dr. James C. Murata, a leading hair restoration specialist based in New York, says that losing around 100 strands of hair per day is totally normal. The easiest way to check for yourself is to run your fingers through your hair from root to tip. If everything's great, there should be from 0 to 2 strands on your fingers. If you see 3 to 5 strands, you're fine too. But if there's more than that, then it's not a good sign. A study by the Department of Dermatology at the Medical University of Warsaw found that hair loss may be connected to problems with the endocrine or immune system. It can also be an indicator of diabetes. All of these are reasons enough to see your doctor as soon as possible. Don't panic though, because it may be due to stress or a vitamin deficiency. We also tend to lose more hair as we age or during pregnancy. Still, only an expert will be able to tell for sure. Number 5. Greasy hair Greasy hair usually indicates that you have an unhealthy diet. Award-winning hairstylist Katsumi Kasai suggests eating less fatty meats, greasy and fried foods, dairy, sweet stuff, and refined carbohydrates to solve this problem. Also, avoid drinking too much alcohol and coffee. You can also calm those overactive sebaceous glands down by adding a few drops of tea tree oil to your shampoo. If these tips don't work, greasy hair may indicate that you have metabolism problems, a hormone imbalance, or liver issues. In this case, you have to visit your doctor to get professional advice. Number 6. Premature Graying Graying hair mostly depends on a person's genetic predisposition. As you age, the number of melanocytes responsible for pigment production decreases. 
Most people start seeing gray hairs pop up in their 30s or 40s. But there are also situations when young people and even teenagers go gray. Premature graying is often a result of severe stress or chronic fatigue, according to women's health expert Dr. Jennifer Wider. Another reason is a poor diet that doesn't include enough protein. Scientists are sure that these factors affect melanin production, and that's why your hair may go gray earlier than normal. Number 7. Itchy Scalp If this symptom is accompanied by sores, pimples, peeling flaky skin, or other sorts of skin irritation on your scalp, then it's a sign that something's really wrong. Only a dermatologist or hair and scalp expert can tell you whether or not it's psoriasis or eczema. If the itching isn't accompanied by skin irritation, it may be the result of a nervous system disorder caused by stress. It could be somewhat like a compulsive tick, not unlike nail biting. In this case, it's recommended to drink soothing herbs and consume more foods with vitamins B1 and B6. Seeing a mental health expert is also a must. Number 8. Dry hair and split ends Besides all the obvious stuff like bleaching, perming, and using hot tools such as curling irons, straighteners, and blow dryers, your hair gets dry because of a lack of protein, iron, and copper. At least that's what experts at the Trichomed Clinic for Hair Medicine and Hair Transplantation in Germany have found in their research. Dry hair and split ends caused by a mineral deficiency are common among people who follow strict diets as well as those who have issues with their endocrine system. Make sure you're following a nutritionally balanced diet that provides your body with all the good stuff it needs, like protein and iron. Including fish, carrots, and orange juice in your menu from time to time is advisable, especially since orange juice contributes to better iron absorption. Don't forget to drink enough water to avoid dehydration, and please check with a doctor to make sure your dry damaged hair isn't a sign of something serious. And finally, remember that your hair only tells a tiny part of the story when it comes to your overall well-being. That is, it's not a litmus test for health, and you shouldn't diagnose yourself by checking the condition of your hair alone. If you experience any health problems, you should always consult a doctor first. What are the most common struggles you have with your hair? Whether it's constant shedding or flat as a pancake, sound off in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.